Today I'm going to demonstrate how to test the EEV coil and valve body. First, you want to make sure the power has been removed from your unit for at least 15 minutes. So first thing you're going to want to do after you've had the unit powered off for 15 minutes is you're going to unplug the EEV plug. Once you've got the harness unhooked, you're going to turn your meter on to ohms. Now, the first test you're going to do, which is testing half the EEV coil, is you're going to go from the blue wire to every wire on there. You should be getting a reading of 46 ohms, plus or minus 10% at 68 degrees. Note that if temperature increases or decreases, you will have a little variance. So it's blue to black, blue to yellow, blue to red, and blue to orange, all reading 46 ohms. Next, you're gonna be testing the whole coil. The first test, you're going to be going from the orange wire to the yellow wire. This should be a reading of 92 ohms, plus or minus 10% at 68 degrees. So going from yellow to orange. Ninety-two point seven. Now you'll be going red to black. Looking for the same readings. 92 ohms. That is how you test the EEV coil. Now, to test the valve body, we have removed an EEV from a unit to demonstrate this. This is your valve body. You will utilize an EEV magnet. You'll place the magnet on the EEV. You'll spin it one way, drive it open, the other way to drive it closed. You should feel resistance and drag on the magnet. If your coil tests good and you drive the EEV open or close with the magnet and you're still having a restriction, more than likely your valve body is stuck. If you were able to move the EEV valve body with the magnet, it could be something else down the line that could be restricting it, or we could have a weak coil, but we would test both. That concludes how to test an EEV. Thank you. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.